guys, I'm Susie, I'm your meditation mentor for the month of April and I'm going to guide you through an easy yoga session this morning, something that you can practice every day or as often as you can in the week and once you're used to and familiar with the poses then you can move on to doing the flow or the sequence of the yoga with just the audio. So we're going to start in a comfortable seated position today, cross-legged, easy pose or perfect pose. And we're going to start with a couple of centering breaths that we're all familiar with from our first month's practice and our second month's practice this year at Just Breathe. So come to a comfortable position, bringing your hands to your knees, either palms down or palms up, or the left palm in the right in your lap with the tips of the thumbs touching. We want to have a straight spine, soften the shoulders, the chin is slightly tucked in, and just close your eyes. If you're not comfortable with your eyes closed, just soften your gaze outwards so you're losing focus on any particular object. We're going to take a deep breath in through our nose, exhaling through pursed lips, Take a deep breath in and exhale. And another deep breath in and exhale. Let your breathing return to a comfortable, deep, slower breath than when you started our practice and keep flowing with the breath throughout our whole practice today. Always being aware of the breath. If you're finding any poses that we do slightly challenging, remember, just breathe. I'd like you to bring the soles of your feet together. You can hold onto the feet with your hands. Bring the feet as close to the body as you're comfortable with. And gently lift and lower the knees. Keeping your spine straight. We can move the knees a little higher and a little faster. Slowing it back down. Really pushing the knees towards the mat. Reach forward with the chest as you hold onto the feet, opening the chest, gently looking up. And then soften down chin to chest. Coming back to our comfortable seated position, perfect pose or easy pose. Easy pose is sitting with your legs crossed. Perfect pose having the, the one foot in front of the other um, shin. Take your right hand to the mat. And inhale, left arm up, reaching up through the left fingers, exhale, bend to the right. So you can stay on the hand or you can lower down onto the forearm as long as your left sitting bone and hip stay connected down to the mat. We're going to reach through the left fingers, feeling that stretch up the whole left side. And we want to look up underneath our arm towards the sky. Remember to breathe. In yoga, we inhale and we exhale through the nose. Pushing into your right hand, inhale all the way back up. Exhale, take the left hand down to the mat. Inhale, right arm up. Reaching up through the fingers. Exhale, bend to the left. Staying on the hand if you like, looking up under the arm. Keeping our right sitting bone or hip connected down to the mat. So we're not lifting our leg up as we try to lean further. You can stay on the hand or drop to the forearm if that's accessible to you. Pushing into the left hand. Inhale, come all the way back up. On the exhale, take the right hand to the left knee. Extend the left arm out to the side and all the way behind you, bringing it down onto the mat behind you. 
We still want to keep a straight spine. We don't want to lean too far back. Use your hand against your knee and push into the mat behind you and twist to look over the left shoulder. So when you're twisting, not just turning the head, we want to think tummy, chest, and shoulders looking out over our left shoulder. Wakening up the spine, stimulating your detoxification in the body. Twists are always fantastic for detoxification. Take the left hand across to the right knee, right arm extends out to the side. Get length through the top of the head, and again, right hand comes behind you, push into the mat. Use your hand against the knee to twist, tummy, chest, shoulders, gazing over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back to the center. Good. We're going to come onto all fours. So bring your hands in front of you. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Pushing into the hands so we're not sinking down between the shoulders. Head is in line with the rest of the spine. And on our inhale, we're going to drop the belly, reach forward with the chest, looking up. Exhale from the base of the spine, we're going to round our shoulders, bring the chin to the chest, push into the hands. Inhale, drop the belly, reach forward with the chest, look up. Exhale, round from the base of the spine, round the shoulders, chin to chest, cat pose. Inhale, come forward into cow pose. Exhale to cat pose. Inhale, come back to neutral spine, that's the way we started, flat back. Head in line with the spine, your gaze is straight down to the mat. Tuck your toes, and on the exhale, lift your knees and your hips back to down dog. In down dog, our fingers are spread wide. We push into the whole of the thumb from the tip down to the wrist. We push into the whole of the index finger. We push into the knuckles at the base of the fingers and the tips of the fingers, getting a beautiful, strong foundation. As we push into the hands, we take the chest towards the thighs, we lift the tailbone up, and we draw the heels towards the mat. They might never reach the mat, that's fine, but that's the direction in which you energetically are moving. And breathe. Lengthening the spine and the hamstrings. Allowing the blood to flow in this gentle inversion towards the head. We're going to move, jump our feet forward, but we have a few options here. So we can take a nice slow walk, feet to hands. Or we can step our feet forward. Or we can jump our feet forward, coming high on the toes, soften the knees and jump your feet forward. Straightening the legs, the feet can be as slightly apart, hold on to the elbows, let the head hang loose, and allow the weight of the upper body and the head to lengthen the spine. Feel free to soften the knees here if you need to. And just breathe, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Release the hands down, push into the feet, leaving the head and arms hanging loose as you roll all the way up. Coming all the way up to standing. So you're gonna stay facing the front of the mat. I just wanna turn side on so that I can show you mountain pose. I see I'm headless now in my video. Um, that's fine, the gaze is straight ahead, soften the shoulders. The arms hang directly underneath the shoulders, so we're not touching our legs and we don't have our arms stiff out to the sides. 
Our feet are together, the big toes are touching. There might be a slight gap between the heels. Mountain pose. We're going to move into a sun salutation, a classic yoga flow, usually included in most yoga practices if we're um, doing a flow style yoga. So standing in mountain pose, inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees as little or as much as you need to. Look up. Exhale, step the right foot back, followed by the left to plank pose. And lower all the way down. You have the option of dropping the knees to the mat here. And inhale to up dog. Tops of the feet and hands on the mat. Hips are lifted. Exhale, down dog. Running through all the cues that I talked you through earlier. Pushing into the whole of the thumb and the index finger, the knuckles at the base of the fingers and the tips of the fingers. Pushing into the hands, reaching up with the hips, down with the heels. Next exhale, step, walk or jump your feet forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, pull in. And inhale all the way up. Palms together, exhale to prayer. Hands in front of the heart. So if you would like, you can pause the video now and flow through a couple more sun salutations if they are familiar with, uh, if you are familiar with it. Otherwise, we'll continue with our flow. Release the hands down. I'm going to turn side on the mat so you can see me, but you can stay facing the front of your mat. We're going to move into a balancing pose, perfect for your concentration, your focus, your balance. These poses, when you have to hold a pose, they're really using the logical brain to hold that pose, to get that strength and that balance. But at the same time, going into the yoga poses really encourages um, a deep relaxation. So it's a wonderful combination where you're in that complete focus, but you're also deeply relaxed. It's really an ideal state to complement our meditation practice. So we're going to start bringing the weight onto the right foot. And we're going to take the left toes and either bring the toes to the mat and the heel to the ankle. Or let the sole of the foot hug the calf uh, muscle. Or we're going to take the sole of the foot to the inner thigh. Let the foot push against the thigh and the thigh back against the foot. The best place for your foot is where it allows you to have your balance. So there's no point bringing it high, thinking you're doing it better and falling over. Really helping with the focus, with the concentration and the balance, you will get your drishti, which is your focal point. So you find an unmoving spot on the floor or the wall or somewhere in front of you, and you focus your attention and your gaze on that spot. Draw your left knee back, bring your hands to prayer. And when you're ready, inhale, take the arms up. So your palms can stay together, or you can interlace the fingers, leaving the index fingers pointing up. Or you can open the arms wide, spreading them out. Push into the right foot, get length in the body, really growing in the body, gently opening the chest. Bring your palms back together. Exhale to prayer. Release the hands. Release the foot. Back to mountain pose. Moving on to the other side. Take your weight onto the left foot. Take the right toes to the mat and the heel to the ankle. Or let the sole of the foot hug the calf muscle. Or take the sole of the foot to the inner thigh. Push the thigh back against the foot. Draw the right knee back. Bring your hands to prayer. Remember your drishti, your gaze, your focal points. Inhale, take the arms up whenever you're ready. And again, bringing your hands either into prayer pose or interlaced fingers with the index finger up or spreading the arms wide. So the choice is yours. Do whatever feels right for that side or for that day. Any of them are good.
opening your branches, like your arms like branches, or interlacing the fingers, or keeping the palms together. We want to grow in length in the body. So think of pushing into the foot. We're not resting all our weight on that supporting ankle. We're engaging the whole of the body. We're engaging the whole of the core, the legs. We're opening the chest, feeling strength in our body. Finding peace in that gaze. Bring your palms together. Exhale to prayer. Release the hands, release the foot. Back to mountain pose, soften the shoulders, feet together, gaze straight ahead. And inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Let your hands come to your legs. And as you keep a flat back, we're gonna inhale, half lift. So keeping our back straight, let the hands slide up the legs. If I came and put a tray of drinks on your back, they wouldn't fall off. The head is in line with the rest of the spine. Belly button pulls towards the spine. Reach out through the top of the head, draw the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, fold. Bring your palms to the mat, stepping your down onto your knees. So we're standing on our knees. Tuck the toes. We're going to bring our hands into our lower back or just at the top of our hip bones. Our thumbs are pointing towards the spine and our fingers are pointing towards the hips. We're going to draw the elbows together as much as we can. Our hips are going to push forward. We're going to lift up through the chest, bending back. If this is uncomfortable for you to have your neck bent back, you can gaze forward, but try and take the head back. If you're comfortable, you can take the arm all the way down onto the heels. But remember, this is, would not be for a beginner. So if you're not familiar with yoga, you will stay in our camel pose, supporting the back with the hands. If you're accustomed to doing yoga, you can straighten out the top of the feet. Keep reaching the hips forward. Keep lifting up with the chest. Coming back up one shoulder, followed by the other shoulder. From our camel pose, a beautiful back bend, opening the heart, opening the front of the body, stimulating the spine and the meridians of the body. The main meridian running straight up the middle of the body. Good. So from here, we, I invite you to either take an extended child's pose, which is big toes together, knees mat width apart, coming down hips to heels, and walking the hands forward. You can bring the forehead to the mat. Remember, we're not having our bum in the air. We're not like that. We want our hips down on the heels. And if you want to, if it's difficult for you to bring the forehead to the mat, you're welcome to stack one hand on top of the other, resting the forehead on your hands. If you would like to take the practice slightly deeper with a beautiful deep hip opener, follow me into Pigeon Pose, which is going to take us back to our down dog. Fingers spread wide, pushing into the thumb, the index finger, the knuckles, at the base of the fingers and the tips of the fingers. Push into the hands, the chest pushes towards the thighs, the hips reach up and the heels down. Take your right leg up into down dog split. And on the exhale, we're going to step the foot through between the hands, but we're going to take it towards the left hand, dropping the side of the foot to the mat and the knee to the mat. Straightening out our left leg behind us. You can check behind us, behind you, and see your leg is straight out behind you. And position your foot. So you might need to take this foot closer towards the hip crease, or you can take this foot closer towards the top of the mat. We want to sink down with even hips. So we don't want to sit down on the bent leg. And if you do have, if you are a, a yoga practitioner, you're welcome to stack underneath your hip with a block or even a book. If you don't have a block, then you use a book. Books are great blocks. 
or a nice firm pillow if you need to support under the right thigh. If this feels super comfy and easy for you, then you need to take your right foot closer towards the right hand. Push into the hands, get length through the top of the head, sinking the hips evenly down towards the mat. Walk the hands forward. So you can come down onto the forearms or bring the forehead all the way down onto the mat. So you'll be staying here in pigeon pose while I talk um, a little bit about pigeon pose. Breathing, remember breathing while you're staying in there and feeling any challenges that arise during the pose. So those of you who are in extended child's pose, relax into extended child's pose and stay here until we're finished with the pigeon pose. And maybe as you move through this yoga practice in the month, you'll find that you're able to join us in pigeon pose. Pigeon pose is a beautiful hip opener. It's a deep hip opener. We find a lot of emotional energy is stored in the hip area, and this helps release that emotional energy. So sometimes it's not the most comfortable pose to be in. Sometimes we find emotions and things arise from being in this pose, and we just want to breathe through whatever comes. And that's really bringing a practice of mindfulness into our pigeon pose. In mindfulness, we went through with the yani last month, it's not all about everything being pretty and peaceful. Sometimes what comes up in mindfulness is uh, something that we would normally think we have to get rid of, something negative, something uncomfortable. But mindfulness is actually about being 100% present in the moment, in whatever that moment gets us. So if you're beautifully comfortable in your pigeon pose, that's fantastic. If you find you're resenting being in there, it's bringing up things you don't like, then be mindful of that. Notice how you're feeling, accepting of how you're feeling, and start to enjoy being in that pose. Just feeling those emotions, feeling that steep stretch, feeling energies moving within the body. No matter what you're feeling in it, it's probably good. If there's any pain, a deep stretching pain is fine. Any sharp shooting pain means you should come out, ease out of that pose um, without any further question. We don't want any sharp shooting pains, but nice deep stretches is what we're going for. Right, so let's move out of our pigeon pose on the right hip. We're going to push into the hands, walking them back up towards the body, reaching up through the top of the head as we get some length in the body. And then we're just going to push back onto our left knee, taking our right leg behind, maybe dropping to the forearms and circling or moving, curling that hip as we ease out of that stretch. So do whatever feels good here for you. And when you're ready, bring your knee back down to the mat, come back onto your hands, tuck the toes and exhale to down dog. Inhale, take the left leg up, you down dog splits. Exhale, we're going to step our foot all the way through between the hands. Actually, we're going to take our foot to the side of the foot, dropping the side of the foot and the left knee down to the mat. So our left foot is across at our right hand. Our knee is down on the mat. Again, remember to position this foot. You're going to take the foot to right towards the hip or take it further forward. We want to sink down with level hips. We don't want to sit down like this on our bent leg. We want to check behind us that the leg is straight up behind us, trying to have the top of the foot on the mat too. Push into the hands, get length through the top of the head, and exhale, walk the hands forward, staying wherever it's good for you, on the forearms or all the way down. Remembering to breathe. Noticing which side is different for you. One side is usually different to the other side. Interesting to note which side is different for you. Our left is our feminine, our um, mother image, or our mother relationship, or our mother figure. The right side is the more masculine side, or the masculine energy, or father figure, or our father. So it's often interesting to note where you are in the hips. Which side is the more comfortable side to do? Which side is your favorite side? Uh, once you get familiar with that, it's often nice to choose to do your least comfortable side first, knowing that you can really relax and sink down into the more comfortable side. Right, 
push into the hands, walking them back towards the body, get length through the top of the head, and push back onto the right knee. As you take the left leg behind you, drop to the forearms if you like, moving that leg however is comfortable for you, releasing that beautiful stretch. Those of you who are in extended child's pose, walk the hands back towards the body, coming all the way up. We're going to end off our practice today with a couple of deep breaths or Shavasana. We always end our yoga practice with Shavasana, but I'm giving you the option here of ending with a couple of deep breaths. So I'm first of all going to do the deep breaths, and then those of you who wish to move on to, into, onto our final relaxation can join me in that. So let's come to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to the knees, closing your eyes, softening the shoulders, bringing your breath back to a nice, comfortable, even, soft state. Breathing in and out through your nose. Take a deep breath in. Release through the mouth. Another breath in. Release with a sigh. And another breath in. On the exhale, bring your hands to prayer pose. May there be peace in your hearts, peace in your homes, and peace in our community. Namaste. For those of you who would like to join me in Shavasana, let's all come down onto our backs. Your legs are going to be up to mat width apart and the feet flopping to the outside. You know. Have your arms slightly away from the body with the palms facing up. The chin is slightly tucked, the shoulders softening away from the ears. Close your eyes. You're welcome to cover the eyes with a towel or a scarf or an eye pillow and allow the whole body to soften. I'd like to Feel comfortable to stay in this pose for as long as you like, up to five or even ten minutes. Just allow the whole back of the body to melt down into the mat. Drop the jaw and let all the muscles in the face soften. Let the eyes get heavy as they're sinking towards the back of the head and the head rest heavy on the mat. Acknowledge any thoughts and then let them go. Let them float across the mind like clouds across the sky, not letting them take up any more of your time. Time that's just for you. Time when no one needs anything from you. Let the breathing be unnoticeable.
encourage you to stay here as long as you like. And whenever you're ready, you gently move your fingers and your toes. You take a deep breath in, reach the arms over the head, onto the mat behind you, stretching out the whole body. Soften the stretch, bend your knees, and roll onto your right hand side. Rest your head on your bent arm. Taking a couple of breaths here. And when you're ready, keeping your eyes closed, push yourself up to sitting. Bring your hands to your knees. 